Sleep and dream cycles vary between individuals, but the majority of healthy people show a consistent 90-minute cycle illustrated by the pie chart. The red areas represent REM or rapid eye movement sleep. The eye movement happens when the dreamer sees and interacts with dream content. These are the times when dreams are the most vivid, particularly the last REM period of, in the morning of a good night's sleep. The key is to wake up after a REM period and recall the dream that just took place. If you fall back into deep sleep, you will lose the memory of the dream. This is why writing down your dream upon awakening is so important. Wake up multiple times in the night can be good for your dream recall. A way to facilitate this is by setting up two alarm clocks, one that goes off two hours before you normally wake up. By waking up to full consciousness then going back to bed, you increase the likelihood of being fully conscious in your dreams and becoming lucid. The technique is often referred to as wake back to bed. If you have never done that before, I recommend you try it tonight. Go to bed a little earlier than normal and set a second alarm clock to go off two hours before you need to get up. When you wake up early, consider that you could be dreaming and you will be in 90 minutes or so. You may be surprised at how much more vivid your dreams become.